Fruit farming has revived the lower eastern region of Kenya and has given hopes to many farmers who for years have experienced poor harvesting of other crops due to erratic weather conditions. This week's eye on county is still in Makueni and today we look at the mango fruit farming, a crop that is viewed as the county's gold mine. Fruit farming is another value chain that has revived hopes for practicing agriculture not only in Makweni but the entire Ukambani region. The ever hot weather and more erratic rainfall have made growing of many crops more difficult in Kenya's Ukambani region but the fruit farming is prospering. Ukambani is among the largest producers of mango fruits, date palms, grapefruits, tangerines and bananas among others. Statistics by Oxfam intimate that in 2010, Makueni led in mango production with a total of 1,469,625 mangoes from its 28,696 and the figures have been increasing ever since. In order to assist farmers in offloading their mangoes, hence preventing post-harvest losses, the county government of Makweni, led by Governor Kivuda Kibwana last year, unveiled a fruit processing plant in Kalamba. The plant has a holding capacity to process five metric tons of raw mangoes, producing 3,000 liters of puree per hour. Lawrence Nzunga, is the county executive member in charge of agriculture and livestock in Makueni County. If you check now the mango value chain, we started with identifying the problem where it is, and the farmers were getting their, a lot of losses and post losses, and the prices were going even to as low as a shilling. But now, since the farmers themselves, through public participation, chose to have a plant for processing mangoes, we did that plant. We are in the third cycle of processing now. If you go there, people are processing today. And uh, in that th that cycle, when we set our prices at 14 shillings, for 15 shillings per kilo, and that's why I'm saying I have seen it in the cooperatives. Because we don't buy directly ourselves. We promote the cooperatives. The farmers uh, corporate farm, uh, the farmers' cooperatives who are in the mango value chain. Once they need procurement, and then first need to buy from their farmers, and then they go buying from the other farmers. And though we've opened that to even traders and that who are doing uh, in value addition within the mangoes, we did the beauty plant. Now, this financial year. 20s by June will be now packaging ready to drink juice like Del Monte. The, the, the reconstitution line we procured at about 110 million. And I'm um, reporting here shipment has started. So by mid February, installation will start. And by March April, because it will take one and, one, and a, one and a half months to install and set, will be testing. Then we'll go full scale by May towards there. And that is the time you'll see us in marketing now. Because what we, what we do now is puree. Then we'll have ready to drink because the money is there. So that mango value chain will have gone to that. One strategy we are, we, we are we, we, we put in place is actually to make sure that the middle person does not exploit our farmers. So uh, you can come and buy our, our product, not at a price that because we actually do not have 
any place to market our produce. Now the middle person will come and buy, like the mangoes, the, the prices of mango has gone up because of the uh, Kalamba processing plant. One thing that has, uh, has helped Makwene County to be where it is, is going to the people and asking, uh, discussing with them. How can we respond to your agricultural needs? What would better your farming? What do you need to actually make sure that you have, as a farmer, you have food on the table, you have money in your pocket so that you can educate your children and eradicate uh, poverty. So I would advise, and serious, uh, serious, a public participation. It's not participation just going and telling people uh, we've come, uh, we are doing another year's budget, so uh, last year you did this, what more do you need? So it's first of all analyzing what has happened, uh, how can we make it better, and how can we move? The mango industry in Kenya has expanded considerably over the years, not only in size, but also in the geographical location of commercial and homestead plantings. The mango varieties grown in Kenya include Apple Mango, Kent, Hayden, Tommy Atkins, Van Dyke, among others. Nimepanda aina kama ine, niko na apple mango, niko na ngowe, niko na pandaik, na tomiatikini. Kwa sababu kama ni wakati wa export, apple mango ndiyo naongoza, inapatiliwa na ngowe. Na kama ni local market, hii kama tomi ni kubwa, na ninye kundu kwa rangi, kwa hivyo watu wanapenda ile kitu kubwa. Kwa sababu tuna, tuna pengini, unapeleka local market, kama kongoea au nairopi, lazima uuze ile kitu kubwa kwa wanunuzi. Nilianza na 360, lakini si kuongeza, nilikoma hapo, lakini moja sikakauka kama kuminambili hivi. Nilipanda tu epo, lakini kulikuwa na kendi, lakini kendi nika, nika ngeuza, nika weka epo peke yake. Mango is a deep-rooted evergreen plant which can develop in huge trees, especially on deep soils. The height and shape of the trees varies considerably among seedlings and cultivators. Under optimum climatic conditions, the trees are erect and first growings and the canopy can either be broad and rounded or more upright. Its tree seedlings can reach more than 20 meters high, while the grafted ones are usually half that size. Maembe, wakatunapanda. Tunashima, tunashimba shimo ya piti bile kwa mbili kwenda chini. Na unatua mchango wa piti moja. Unalete mbolea, unachanganya hiyo piti moja hiyo ya top soil. Na hile andani unaitoa. Unaweka hiyo ya top soil na mbolea unarudisha andani, unaijaza. Na unaruweka fertilizer NPK 100 grams kwa kila shimo unachanganya. Alafu unaweka maji. Baada ya kuweka maji unachukua miche yako ambao ni grafted unakuja na toa ile karatasi kwanza hapo kando. Alafu una toboa kashimo unaweka ndani na unahakikisha umesindilia imeshikana. Alafu unamwagilia maji isionekane ile sehemu ambayo ulitoboa shimo wakati nakauka mchanga sionekane. Kwa sababu ikionekana itaingia na ingizia miale ya jua na misizi itaanza kukauka. Kwa hivyo utahakikishi utakuwa naweka maji kila ma... kutoka shimo baka shimo nyingine tunaweka mita kumi. ndio ikikaa isishikane haraka kwa tunaweka umbali wa mita kumi kwenda ile nyingine mita kumi. Yeah. na kutoka laini kwenda nyingine hata tunaweka hivyo lakini kwa sababu ya sehemu yetu ni kubwa wengi wetu wamependelea kupanda kwa laini ya miembe peke yake uh, laini ya mtaru peke yake Kwa hivu wanaweka laini vile benji naenda, wanaweka hiyo mashimo mitakumi, mitakumi, mitakumi. Ukienda kwa hile benji nkini mitakumi, mitakumi. Hala laba tunatumea kukuatelea zile laini sa benji. Nilishimba mashimo kwanza, 
hiyo mashimo mchanga ya chini ya juu niliweka kando na ile ya chini niliweka kando sasa nikaenda nikachukua manyua nikakuja nikachanganya na hii ya mbele nikaweka kwa shimo alafu nikapanda maembe yangu hapo hii ingine sikukua na haja nayo main characteristics that differentiate mango varieties are the fruit shape size aroma sweetness color fiber content taste seed size and resistance to diseases kwa moja ambayo inatusaidia na hiyo ni hali ya maumbile na ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu ili jua ambayo inatuchoma kwa mti una upatia umuhimu wa kutoa maembe iko na ladha na rangi nzuri kwa hivyo jua inatuchoma lakini kwa pande nyingine inatuletea manufaa zaidi kwa sababu inafanya maembe yetu yawe rangi nzuri hata ikiiba unasikia harufu yake ni nzuri na ukionja inakuwa sukari nyingi hata bila kuweka potassium unaipanda hivi na bila kuweka hiyo mbolea ya kuweka usukari hata ukipimwa mchanga wangu ilipimwa nikaambiwa nisiweke potassium iko nayo nyingi kwa hivyo nikiweka itaanza kupasua ile embe eh, iko na sukari ya kutosha when growing a mango tree seedlings prepare the site by digging a hole that is twice as wide and deep as the root ball check the drainage by filling the hole with water and watching how fast it drains mango trees can survive some periods of flooding but the healthiest plants are produced where soils percolate well plant the young tree with the graft scar just at the soil surface you do not need to prune the young plant but watch for suckers from the graft and prune them off young mango tree care must include frequent watering as the plant establishes Maembe wakati tunapanda tunashima sh, tunachimba ch, shimo ya piti mbili kwa mbili kwenda chini na unatoa mchango wa piti moja unaleta mbolea unachanganya hiyo piti moja ya top soil na ile ya ndani unaitoa unaweka hii ya top soil na mbolea unarudisha ndani unaijaza na unaruweka fertilizer NPK 100 grams kwa kila shimo unachanganya alafu unaweka maji baada ya kuweka maji unachukua miche yako ambayo ni grafted unakuja unatoa ile karatasi kwanza hapo kando alafu unatoboa kashimo unaweka ndani na unahakikisha umesindilia umeshikana alafu unamwagilia maji isionekane ile sehemu ambayo ulitoboa shimo wakati nakauka mchanga sionekane kwa sababu ikionekana itaingia na ingezia miale ya jua na misizi itaanza kukauka kwa hivyo utahakikisha utakuwa unaweka maji kila ma... kutoka shimo mpaka shimo nyingine tunaweka mita kumi. ndio ikikaa isishikane haraka sasa tunaweka umbali wa mita kumi kwenda ile nyingine mita kumi. Ya. na kutoka laini kwenda nyingine hata tunaweka hivyo lakini kwa sababu ya sehemu yetu ni kubwa wengi wetu wamependelea kupanda kwa laini ya miembe peke yake uh, laini ya mtaru peke yake kwa hivyo wanaweka laini vile benji naenda wanaweka hiyo mashimo mita 10 mita 10 mita 10 ukienda kwa ile benji nyingine mita 10 mita 10 hapo hapa tunatumia kufuatilia zile laini za benji ningependelea wapande ile ambao ni haijafanywa grafting ndio kwanza ishikilie hapo sababu ile imefanywa grafting kidogo uende kachelewa kwa ile nasari bila kununuliwa na ile mesizi itajikunji hapo ndani kwa hivyo akipanda ile ya kiasili alafu aje kugraft baada ya kushika ita kuwa imejikunja ime na mizizi yake tap root itakuwa imeenda straight na itaendelea kukua na hii itakuwa rahisi na ukipanya grafting ikiwa kwa hiyo shimo ambao imepandwa mapema ikiwa ndogo sasa hiyo kuipatia chakula shike itakuwa rahisi kuliko ile imeletwa na karatasi na imefungiwa hapo pengine mvua mbili au miezi kumi Uh, itakuwa mizizi imesunguka katikati kwa hivyo haitaenda haita penetrate vizuri kama ile imepandwa direct ya kwa hivyo ile unapanda alafu unafanya grafting ikiwa imemea ndio mzuri zaidi kuliko na ile inakuja ikiwa grafted